<laughs> Hello, folks. Hello, Papa and Big John here. This is uh, your 4th of July Independence Day video. Right, John? John and I are just standing here talking. And uh, being uh, kind of a history buff that I am, uh, these old holidays that we celebrate sometimes are just holidays for some folks. They mean a lot to me. Uh, Memorial Day, you know, for those that have died in defense of our country, men and women. Uh, Veterans Day for those that served, men and women, uh, through all the years. And now it's Independence Day. Uh, you know, uh, we won our independence, 1776. Or at least that's when we celebrate. <laughs> anyway, that's what I want to talk about a little bit today and some things uh, I'm thankful for. What do you think, John? John said, I. You know, I've. Seriously, I've read so many books about the Revolutionary War and the hardships that not only the soldiers went through, but the the people back home in the homes and on the frontier and the, the settlements, little homesteads scattered all out through the frontier. Uh, it was brutal times. And, and, you know, we was trying to win our independence from England, and now England is probably our closest ally and has been since those days. Uh, all of them may have been a little upsetting here in the early 1800s, maybe a couple of times, maybe they get a little angry, but still. Overall, they have been our, probably our most faithful ally. And I think we are theirs. Um, but you know, I was thinking about Valley Forge and places like that, what those guys went through and how many of them froze to death. Now think about that. It'd been so much easier to say, hey, I'm going home. They go back to my farm and try to take care of They didn't know how their family was, was making out, you know, whether their family okay. Or were they being, uh, you know, misplaced by troop movements. Uh, you know, the British soldiers coming through or the, or the Indians and whoever else may have been attacking the frontier. So there was a lots of hardships. Lots of folks died. And you know, back then, uh, a simple wound could kill you. Medicine wasn't like it is today where good chances, you know, pulling you through. Uh, back then it wasn't so, so easy. But uh, in reading these books and stuff, it, it makes me appreciate more what this day truly means. Independence Day. It's and you know we we complain a lot. You know Americans, we're we're probably never happy, but still, overall. We have probably the most freedoms of anyone in the world because of those very folks setting the, the stage, you might say. But yeah, you know, I'm gonna tell you what, we gotta watch out and be ready to protect those rights too. You know, I'm not gonna get political. I don't, I don't get political. Uh, I have my beliefs, just like my my religious beliefs, what I believe, and you have yours, and that's fine. I hope I'm right. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we have to be willing, you know, to step up if we need be and to protect what those folks established for us. 
And uh, freedom and liberty is, is not free. It's, it was paid for. It's paid for in blood, tears, sweat, and those ultimate sacrifices. And by folks that we would probably never, ever know their names. Now, maybe their descendants will know their names, but, you know, we as a common population, unless we had ancestors that fought in it, and, and, and we had some, proud of them. But unless you had some, you're not going to remember those names. Oh, there's George Washington, you know, and those kind of folks, but uh, on average. So today when you're celebrating at the beach, at the lake, or even your backyard, or and for a lot, for a lot of folks, there's not going to be any family to come around, and and they'll either be by themselves, and hopefully they can find some joy to celebrate something, uh, find a good movie. I always say, you know, if you if you're lonesome, find you a good movie, or go to YouTube, watch Papa. <laughs> no, you can find better things to do, I'm sure, than that. But seriously. Uh, call your friends. You got to call up some friends. Call up some family. If nothing else, just to chat with them for a few minutes. Just be thankful and, and celebrate this awesome holiday. I won't be going to the lake. I won't be going to the beach. Uh, we will do something here for whoever's around. Maybe some hot dogs or something. And, uh, and watch a movie. All right, guys. You know, I've also, I'm going to show you something here in just a second. Something else I'm thankful for, and I'm sure I'm just going to get a little touch of it. So I just hang on. I was just sitting here uh, looking at reading some of the letters that I've gotten since I've been doing YouTube. Folks, I, I keep these letters. And I go back, and I read them. Same way with the cards. I have to call the cards, too. And uh, <laughs> these letters are interesting. And not only saying, oh, how thankful they are, or happy they are, they, they see the YouTube, they see Ivan and us and all that, but they tell stories. They tell poems. And... Uh, I can just go on and on through them, you know. Uh, the lady there, Judy Good from Holland, Michigan. And just on and on and on. That's just one of them. And then there's just uh, Miss Lily, and Karen, and Karen Owens, and, and just Deborah Baker. It's it just on and on and on. I can't mention all the names. I'd be here all night trying to call out names but I just I come out here sometimes and it's nice and cool it's quiet G's uh watching a movie or her and Kim are doing something and I sit out here and I just I watch a little TV I look at some of the books that I've got over the time uh a lot of times I sit here and I look at uh a couple of cookbooks I've got Janelle sent one that I go through and I'm gonna try some of the recipes and stuff and some of the history books people have sent from different things. Uh, places about Kentucky and stuff where our ancestors all kind of come from. A little picture of little Lily sent to me and just Marge Smith. And just on and on and on. I, just all these different names. And it amazes me that these people, not only here in the United States, but there's some from all over the world take the time to write me Paul Paul <laughs> a letter thanking me for something I've been doing it's just you know I've been enjoying doing you know and I enjoy it it's not much to my videos but I enjoy doing them and, and I'm hoping you enjoy them uh, oh I get scolded sometimes I, I don't always do everything right are you listening Heidi this is important very important. It's my heifer. But I get scolded down in. I 
didn't do something right, or I didn't call something out, I didn't make <laughs> Sophie do right, but, or I forget, I, I lost something, or I misplaced something, but overall, you folks are so sweet, so nice, so generous, and uh, I don't ask for nothing for myself, I don't ask for anything for my babies. If you send something for them, that's just awesome. They're going to get it. They're going to eat it. They're going to enjoy it. They're going to fight over it. And y'all seen them fight over it. Uh, but these letters, I got them out of my folder a few minutes, well, a while back and earlier today. And yeah, they just, they're awesome letters. Stephanie Clark and Mac B. It's just on and on and on. And every one of them, Kimberly Houston, they all have different stories. They all got different stories. And it's so amazing. And a lot of them will tell me about their, there's Josephine, will tell me about their childhood growing up, Miss Lily. Uh, <laughs> yeah, beautiful pictures. Anyway, these letters, I, I really enjoy them, folks. I enjoy the cards. I've got probably twice as many cards. A lot of them from around Christmas time. A lot of them just, just cards coming all through the year. I love this stuff. And uh, so you ain't got to send money. And you ain't got to send, you ain't got to send anything. But if you have time to send a little letter or a card, I, I love them. And you got my email. I've got my email out there, so send me an email. Uh, I try to answer all the all the comments I can. I run out of time in the evenings because I do other stuff during the day. And I try to do those at night before I go to bed. And I do as many as I can before I just finally crash. You might notice some of my answers get kind of crazy. So he's going to sleep on us. Papa went to sleep. <laughs> but, uh, and again, my email, Gene, G-E-N-E, M-A-R-I-N-E, Gene Marine, one word, one, two, three, all in one word, Gene Marine, one, two, three, at gmail.com. And uh, I will try my best to answer you. Anyway, I want to thank y'all for stuff like this. I, I really enjoy this. And uh, I'm going to let you go with this. I hope you enjoy your 4th of July. And uh, I'm proud to be an American. Proud to be a Marine. Proud to see old John up there. Now let me tell y'all something about John Wayne real fast. This is so amazing. Kenny, y'all know y'all know cousin Kenny. Cousin Kenny, uh, his kids bought him a ticket to the anniversary of. I guess 50th anniversary of the Cowboys uh, in Fort Worth, Texas. And he was able to meet Ethan Wayne, John Wayne's son, and took pictures with him. Uh, also, he was able to meet all those boys that played the Cowboys. They're all grown men. Now they're all older, <laughs> old like us. They're or like me. I shouldn't say us. Uh, they're old. But he's able to meet almost every one of them was there that played those kids on the Cowboys. And uh, he said they're such a great group of guys. And those guys meet together. He said they, they told him yearly and have a little get together every year. So I thought that was real neat. But anyway, he met Ethan Wayne and sent me pictures and gloat, gloating about it. Gloating. Look at me, Paul Paul. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm going to let y'all go with that. I love y'all. Have a happy, good, safe 4th of July. And in the back of your mind, remember what it's all about. You guys take care.